Classy fuck this world Forever I'm that girl Alright friends This is a little bit of a buzzed Ulta haul I just got back from date night I was not planning to pl uh, I was not planning to film But here I am I'm whispering because my husband ain't fixed me up for the night But he ain't watch the TV So I'm trying to talk low So turn the volume up okay So you get me Anyways You see this face though? My new wig though. I'm getting this shit down. Like, look at that. What lace? Yeah. This is BMG Girl Hair, Black Girl Magic Hair Company. Yes, love it. Another kinky unit. Y'all, I'm about to start doing hair reviews on here. My eyes are a little low. I'm trying to look alert. I'm drunk water to like sober up, not drunk. Just a little tipsy and piss at the same time. But anyways, child, we here. Get a little drinky drink, okay? Wait. Ulta haul, real quick. I told y'all in my last video, I had a quick Ulta haul to share with y'all before I get into like reviewing this new brand, which is about face. Yeah. Anyways, honey, first things first. I needed a new brow pencil. I have it on right now. I did have to use it today because I'm out of my brow product. This is the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil. Um, I know I just showed y'all this, but what I bought was the triangular shape one. And I gave that one to my mama. And I have this one for myself. This one is the actual micro brow one. The one I thought I got the first time, but it's fine. So it looks like this. These are really good, y'all. Very inexpensive. The shade is Java. Um, this costs... Y'all, another reason why I love Ulta, I told y'all, like, at the start of the year, I am about to be in my Ulta bag because I saved a lot more money. I had $11.50 off of this order. $8 in points, $3.50 for a coupon. Boom. Um, this cost, originally priced for $9, but of course I got it for $7.96 of my coupons and stuff and my little points. But yeah, nine dollars, not bad at all. Again, the or not Orphe, Morphe. What the fuck? Cut the show. I'm through. Cut the show. I'm done. Take me off. Oh yeah, that six I have been crying. I mean, my little sister, we like, uh, we identify with so much. Cut the show. I'm done. Anyways, okay, moving on. I'm weak. Um. The next thing I got, y'all, I didn't need this for real, but I got it because, actually I did. I'm running low on my favorite brow, my favorite lip pencil by Sephora. Um, this one I'm running low on, so I re-upped on the NYX. Y'all, I love Ulta because it's affordable, okay? They have affordable and high-end stuff and fragrances and skincare and body care and hair care, all the things, nail care. I am an Ulta girl, okay? You've not seen a Sephora haul on my channel this year so far. Granted, it's just February, but it's fine. Anyways, I got the NYX lip pencil and espresso. This is a cult fave. We all know her. We all love her, okay? She's that girl. I hate that you have to sharpen this pencil. I like having retract retractable pencils like this one because you can just do this right here and twist it up like that. The twisty thing. But with this, you gotta sharpen it. So it's kind of annoying, but it's fine. I bought a pencil sharpener. My words, I'm being a little slurred right now. Keep up, turn the volume up, okay? All right, so with that, let's sit all this to the side. I bought a pencil sharpener, and this is from e.l.f. Again, very inexpensive, okay? e.l.f., what does this cost? Let me see. Uh, $2, $2, okay? And I got it for $177. So I got this just for my pencil sharpener to sharpen that lip pencil. Okay. Moving on. I told y'all this should be fairly quick because I did get a few products, but not that much. But it still totaled to be $67. How? I have no fucking idea. I bought this NYX Butter Gloss. I've never bought the shade before. I told y'all I am infatuated with orange like on the skin period orange sickle nyx butter gloss looks like this so i bought this um cannot wait to put this on now that i have finally gotten the haul out of the way i'm not drunk just tipsy okay 
I'm gonna um, likely wear this tomorrow for church because I love orange on this deep skin. I got on my favorite blush for right now anyways. The Juvia's Place, I shared this with y'all in an Ulta haul as well. I bought, it's not new of course, it's just new to me. But this, I actually have on both together. It's just so, look how pigmented it still is. Y'all, this face been on since, what time it is, y'all? Just you can see, it's 11.06 at night and my flashlight's still on, I'm weak, hold on. We went out initially, we had dinner at 6.45. This face been sitting, sitting since six, <laughs> since 6.45. It did weave for me. I mean, it's my hair. It's not a wig. It's my hair. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, so really back in. I got this because I'm obsessed with orange on my skin complexion. Anybody with skin complexion that looks like mine, y'all, bear with me, okay? This is not my usual haul. Like, but it's fine. Anyways, got this to try on. I can't wait to see how it's gonna look, y'all. Next thing I got, y'all. This is by far, y'all. I'm getting ready to film a skincare empties video. I used to do those videos a lot here. If y'all remember, if you're not new here, I used to do um, monthly empty videos like of skincare, makeup, all the things. But I've had a bright idea where I wanna do like focused empties videos, like fragrance empties, luxury skincare empties because I've emptied a lot of fragrances. I've emptied a lot of skincare, high-end, luxe, bougie skincare, honey. Um, but anyways, this ain't luxe or bougie, it's elf, but it's just as good, if not better. By far my favorite um, makeup cleansing balm is from elf. So when I'm done with this video, to take all this off, I'm gonna use this. My favorite, the Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. It's so good, y'all. Very inexpensive. Elf has kind of raised the bar of their prices a little bit, and I get it, inflation is real. We get it, you know? But it's not that bad compared to like, um, what's the other one? LMS, LMS, however you say it. Anyway, their cleansing balm, kind of pricier. This is the same thing, okay? Get you <laughs> the Elf Cleansing Balm. Um, it originally cost $11, y'all, $11. Of course, I got it for $9.73, but $11 compared to the higher end cost stuff, it's a still of a deal. Y'all, this stuff is like magic. You put it on the face, I warm it up in my hands first and just lather my face with it, not lather, but put it on my face really good, like really get it onto the skin, it just breaks down the makeup, okay? It just comes like right off the face. When you rinse with water, it just comes right off. Of course, I triple cleanse, I use this. I go in with another product <laughs> that's another makeup remover kind of product. And then I go in and actually cleanse my face with a cleanser. That's just me. I like it, it's what it is. But anyways, it breaks, this breaks down the makeup. All this, go. In a matter of seconds. Good stuff, okay? Get your zone. All right. Moving on to the stars of this whole entire Ulta haul, which I cannot wait to do my review with y'all on. I'm actually kind of glad I did film this today. I wasn't planning on I wasn't planning on filming today. I was just doing cute. I'm like, the face is like, yeah. So I'm like, yeah, go ahead and do this haul real quick right now, because I was gonna do it with no makeup on, just kind of film a quick little haul. Woo -woo move on and do like a little review. But since we're here, yeah, let's take advantage. Anyways, I'm trying out this new brand, y'all. Everybody's talking about, all the TikTok girls talking about. It's supposed to be exclusive to Ulta. It's called About Face. I have not done my research just yet on this brand to know if they are like black owned or whatever. But when I saw the shade range, yeah. Um, it was right when you walked into Ulta, like a doorbuster, kind of like little display. The shade range was immaculate. Immaculate. Very easy to find your shade. The undertones were true to me anyways. Um, I found my shade, even though I haven't tried it on, <laughs> but I feel like it's my shade, I found it with ease. Um, they had several deeper skin tone shades available. That's why it led me to believe it was a black owned brand. I don't know yet, so I ain't gonna say that yet, because I don't know. But when I do this review, I have more knowledge on the body again. But anyways, I bought the Cheek, no, it's called Cheek Freak. But their blush balm, not my husband comes to the door. Anyway, the blush balm by About Face, I got it in the shade color, I guess it's called, no it ain't. The name of this product is called Cheek Freak. Cheek Freak, 
cheek freak um and the shade is called cowgirl okay beyonce y'all know i am a beyonce stano here okay hence my intro and outro song beehive all day um but anyways it's called cowgirl i can't wait for an album y'all but anyways yeah i like all kind of music i love country pop rock all of it um my music head grew up on music so i don't care the genre there's a message behind music and beyonce understands that you can hate all day don't ever say she ain't the hardest working black woman in the music industry because that she is anyways i got about face all that see what i got about face the cheek freak in the shade cowgirl it's time for me to find my like bedazzled cowgirl hat my little boots because i plan to be at a concert at 2025 i missed this time girl i'm gonna be there next year anyway so yeah it's an orangey tone um blush product it's supposed to be for the cheek and lip i think lips i think Anyways, child, we'll know more about that when we try it on in the video, so stay tuned. But yeah, I picked this up. Cannot wait. When I saw the texture on the tester, I was intrigued. I was like, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, let's pick up. And initially, I went just, well, I didn't go for the foundation, but I saw it and I grabbed it. But I was going to stick with the foundation only, but I saw that blush. And y'all know, clearly, I'm obsessed with orange right now, like orange tone blush, orange tone whatever um, complexion product, so I had to get it, so... This is the lippy I got. This is not about face, of course, but this is NYX NYX. And I saw this, I'm like, oh, this is gonna pair well together. All right, so yeah, foundation. I got the about face skin focused foundation. I have it in the shade D3 neutral. Um, this shade, I feel like is going to be perfect. Uh, it looks like this, D3, can you kind of see it? The glare. Anyway, D3 neutral. And it looks like this so yeah the packaging feels really it's like heavy enough it has some weight to it it feels luxe um this yeah i was giving prices for a minute but i forgot that fast where is this um yeah it was only 22 dollars yeah very inexpensive it's giving drugstore okay um to me anyways because drugstore is kind of going up but of course i have my coupon i got it for 16 dollars and 37 cents 37 cents Sit. whatever anyways yeah the packaging looks like this again so stay tuned friend for the review first impressions all that jazz of this product as well as the about face cheek freak blush this looks like it could be really promising for my skin tone and y'all i feel like the shade selection was very easy to choose from i want to say i think they had warm and cool foundations i'm not sure i just recall seeing neutral and i know i'm a neutral undertone so i always go for whatever the deepest of the neutral is for my skin tone i get that um i think they had a d2 neutral i want to say and it was a little bit too light i want to say so i stuck with d3 neutral which was for dark or deep skin anyways child we'll get more into the specs and all that good jazz in the video in the meantime friend don't be leaving out go ahead and like comment and subscribe until next video i will see you next time bye Clean up, I'm a light, 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 I'm a light